Hi everybody, Wax Fraud here, and welcome back to episode 2 of the Hardcore Let's Play series. We actually just got done with stream, that's why we're down underwater right now. I'm actually getting some iron. This actually probably is the easiest wave in early game of Hardcore, when you have no defense. I only have iron armor on right now. There's no mobs down here, so I can kind of go caving, get some iron without having to worry about any mobs. Well, I guess except for this guy. He's coming at me right now, but luckily, since there's only that one guy, it's pretty easy to defend myself. Big on? And a bit gone. All right, so, I mean, we, there's a bunch of iron, a bunch of copper. We actually found some diamonds on stream, a bunch of glow squid, and even lapis down here, too. There's basically everything. There is some redstone that I found deep down there. I didn't get any yet. I should probably go get some. I'm going to need it at some point. My dolphin he came to hang out. What's up, my dude? While I'm getting this last bit of iron over here, I did want to thank you guys for watching last episode. We hit 3,500 likes in the first two days, and, and seriously, like, that. thank you so much. Everybody that watched the first episode, I appreciate y'all. And everybody that's been watching on the Twitch streams as well. Oh man, I can't break that with a torch. What did I, how did I just switch those? That was quick. Anyways, I was gonna say, if you guys have been watching on the Twitch streams as well, thank you guys so much. I, I appreciate y'all, and feel free to come and follow and join us on Twitch anytime. I try to stream every single day, but sometimes I can't, but seriously guys, thank you so much. Now I did mention in the last episode that on today's agenda, we do have one thing, and that is frog farm. We're gonna make a frog farm. I wanna go try to at least get all three colors of the frog and if i can't um i mean at least we can get the two i have to find a cold snowy biome in order to get the green frog um, but we do have the white frogs back in the swamp and we also have the orange frogs back in uh like right next to the regular swamp so we have plenty of stuff to do also did you know that mangroves can grow deep underwater check this out when i was on stream the other day um, I found out that you can just drop the propagules all the way, even as deep as this goes. I went all the way down here, I planted it down here, and it, the mangrove root goes all the way up, and it looks so natural. I was thinking about doing a custom mangrove river biome, bringing over a bunch of fish, axolotls, putting some sea pickles down here. By the way, guys, do not mind the interior of the house right now. On stream, we're going to be continuing to decorate this. I need more leather to make books and everything like that, so this place will be looking good as the series goes on, but just don't mind the interior right now. The exterior, that's what we're going to focus on. This this looks way better than the interior. Interior. But anyways, we were lucky enough to find some diamonds uh, at the bottom of one of the trenches in the ocean. So I'm going to make a pickaxe because we need the pickaxe. I'm going to leave the other two diamonds here. Um, basically, if we find any obsidian or anything like that, that would be nice. I need to make another portal. We need to go to the nether. We need to, we need to get this game rolling along. I was thinking about just using the mountainside right behind the house, and uh, I mean, I'll probably build a mining entrance at some point. Maybe we'll do that on stream. I, I, I did that for episode two last time. This time, I don't necessarily want to do that for episode two. We're going to build the way to get into the mine. I'll probably just build a little strip mine once I get down. I was thinking, I also kind of want to get some deep slate, so if I can get some deep slate, that'd be nice. Oh my god, there's silverfish here. Please, sir, I don't want to be caught down here with you. Be gone. Be gone. He's, he's really attacking me right now. He's really... Why, why are they so hard to hit? Be gone, sir. Be gone. Thank you. All right. I actually didn't know I could find emeralds this low. That's kind of cool. Didn't need it. I wish I had silk touch so I could keep that block, but um, I mean, it's too early in the game. Can't ask for everything. This is pushing me away. I want to go see what's down here at least. More iron. Just some underwater. Aha. Found me some deep slate. Now I just need to find me some diamonds. That would be, that'd be A-OK -okay with me. I am so happy to see you, little diamond. If this is just like one or two, um, I'm still OK with that. It's just good to see. Oh my god, is it really just the one? Please don't be just the one. I have to... Is it just the one? Oh my god, dude. How unlucky is that? Found some lava here and an open cave. I'm really trying to get some obsidian, so I'm just going to do the do. Let's just put it right here. That looks good. And we'll go out this way. Everything, Everything's turning A-OK. -okay. Now we can actually head out there and get some lava. So we just got done with the Twitch stream. I actually just streamed again right now for another 3-4 hours, and we got a bunch of diamonds dug out. The thing is, I don't want to necessarily take these out yet. I got 9 just to make some extra tools, but we got a bunch of diamonds here. We got a pocket of 8 right here, a pocket of 5, and another pocket of 8 right here. And then all the way down this hallway, we have a, a 5 by 2 hallway down here. It goes for a very long time, a couple hundred blocks. But uh, we have a bunch of diamonds down here as well. So I'm actually going to go make an enchanting table, get a whole enchantment set up, and then, oh my god, I'm a little bit, dude, I noticed this on stream. There's x-ray. Look, you can see that creeper. I'm like, it's kind of cheating. I can see the, I can see the creeper right up there. There's a little bit of an x-ray going on here. It's kind of weird. So let's get a table going right here. Perfection. We can probably get a setup going in the middle of this upstairs. That way we can at least start getting the upstairs decorated. We have some bookshelves finally. We were... Unfortunately, we had, to, we had to do away with a bunch of cows in order to 
get this started. We'll get a nice little library going here, and then I might set up some desks around the side, get that extra decorated, or just some barrels over here just for the uh, the storage. Let's get rid of the torches. We'll put some of these up right here still. So this ain't looking too bad. I mean, we have everything that we need. I'm actually going to throw the grindstone over here, and I'm going to throw the anvil back there because we're probably going to need it at some point. We're actually probably going to need two anvils. I might, put an I might end up putting another anvil over here, maybe another one. But I went ahead and just decorated this room here real quick. I'm just decorating the interior slowly but surely and this is kind of simple but i hope you guys ended up liking it uh, i'm going to just hopefully just i'm gonna wish for the oh my gosh i don't even have a lapis let's go in where's the lapis i know i have it down here don't look at this room it's not decorated it's not decorated let's go this way um i'm really hoping that we have and just come on give me okay breaking three with fortune two not bad all right so let's try one more with efficiency three uh, all right, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Only efficiency three. Okay, so that's not bad. We'll we can probably just combine these if we wanted to. Yeah, let's just do that real quick. Let's just combine these. That's pretty nice. We can end up getting something pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and use this fortune two on those diamonds. Oh, this is no fortune three, but we can at least see what we can get with a fortune two. It looks like we're coming away with a lot already. This is a lot better than just using nothing. We got 15 diamonds. We just got nine from that because we did start out with four. We're already sitting over 20 and there's a bonus one right here. Perfect. Coming away with 55 diamonds. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, I just heard that guy. Where you at, buddy? Yeah, not bad, though. We can go get a full set of armor and a full set of tools. All right, so we can finally put them on. Let's go. And I really like that sound that, that makes when you put the armor on. That's sick. We are looking good. Now, next step, netherite. All right, well, now since we have diamond armor on, we can do what we needed to do in order to start the frog pen. That's get some slimes, and uh, we can start breeding the frogs then. Slimes are usually going to just be spawning in this swamp biome that's going to be back here. And that's also where the white frogs are going to be, and as well as the orange frogs. We have white frogs and orange frogs back here. The green frogs, that's the third kind. Once we actually get some slimes to make some tadpoles, we'll have to take some of the tadpoles over to a cold biome if we can find it. Oh my god, I should take this if there's no creepers in here. Let's take this down. Ooh, okay, all right. But yeah, I'm going to go over into this uh, slime area, or the swamp rather, and uh, just wait till the nighttime maybe. I'll probably just build up with some of these dirt blocks, just build up a bit just high enough but high up enough that no skeletons are gonna get to me we got some coal and some copper over here all righty sun's going down time to see if we can get some slimes to spawn they should be popping up any moment oh okay there it is we got our first slime we got a zombie down there too so that's what i'm saying we might have to wait until the sun comes up or at least just let the nighttime run for a little bit longer then let the sun come up let some more slime spawn go down there wait for the zombies to go away and then get all the slime so we can be a little bit strategic about this. I almost fell off, man. I need to be careful. I should not be up here without feather falling. Oh, my God. All right. We have enough slime to, you know, catch a couple of frogs here and uh, get them to breed. I know there's a cut. There's an orange one right there. Oh, there's two orange ones right here. Perfect. That was lucky. I didn't realize they had hopped over here. That's okay. So I want them to I have a slime, buddy. Come over to me. Oh, oh, OK. There's multiple. We have a bunch. I only just need one tadpole right now, so let's get you, let's get you. Come on, guys, let's make a tadpole. Let's go. Oh my god, I totally forgot that they need water. I think this one might be the one with the eggs. Do you need water, right? Yes, you do. There we go. That's amazing. I love it. Can I pick the tadpole up here? How do you pick? Oh my god, I need to pick these guys up. All right, come on now, buddy. Follow me. Let's go this way. I should have done this a while ago. You come with me too, buddy. Let's go. Let's go start a little frog farm. Oh my god, look at them run. This is a... <laughs> Look at them go. Okay, I'm just going to set them up right here until I am able to uh, set up a nice location for them. I think I wanted to use right here. As you can tell, it might look a little bit different than it did at the beginning of the episode because on stream, I actually decided to take all of this out. Everything that was here, there was a little bit of land that kind of went up about yay high right here when I jump up and... Oh man, yeah, about three or four blocks up. It looks nice when it's all laid out now, and I actually moved the cove in more this way. So I'm going for a similar design to the apiaries I used on the last hardcore series, but this one's going to be a little bit different. Obviously, I'm using the mangrove wood, and I'm going to strip it, so it's going to look like this, and it will look nice eventually. Right now, it's going to look a little bit weird. I'm spacing all of this out by five. So one, two, three, four, five, place a block. I'm going to place some glass on the inside of this as well, just so the frogs are enclosed. And oh man, I need to get the continuity mod back on. I forgot, it was actually messed up my game it made it crash a couple times i'll get that back in here oh my god i just came back to check and there's a bunch of tadpoles in here. oh wait wait take that back oh wait wait get back in there Ooh, that was close okay i need a bunch of buckets then i don't want all of them gone 
Oh, wait, wait, that's cool. Bucket, bucket, that's cool. All right, so we can uh, get a bunch of these now. I kind of want to find a cold biome as soon as we're done building this. You can see I started going up about four blocks high now, and I need to actually go inside this way. Is there a zombie in there? Most likely now. It's been night for about a minute. On the sides, I am going to do the classic trapdoor tile wall fence to chain to lantern effect here. I think that looks pretty decent, and uh, at the top there, I'm going to have a stair go up, and it's going to keep going up a little bit, edging over to the right. Got the first level done here, now it's just basically time to go up and do the exact same thing. Uh, but we're going to go inverse, basically exactly like this. We're going to go in and in and in until it's a nice and tall frog building. This guy's acting crazy right now. Look at this man floating here. What is, what is going on? What are you floating on, sir? So the build is getting a little bit tall. Oh, well, squid perished here. That's no good. The build is getting a little bit tall. Um, so I was thinking about before we actually make the enclosure, like the roof, it is a little bit hard to plant trees and have them grow, especially tall ones when you have an enclosure on the top. So I kind of want to just see if the mangrove tree can grow in the middle of this. And it looks like it did. Perfect. Okay, so that's really all I wanted. I wanted to have a nice little tree in here. We might get a birch, maybe an oak tree in here as well. But as long as we got some life in here, that is A-OK -okay, because we want the frogs to have a good time. I'm actually going to start making the roof here. I'm just going to put the edge, uh, make it with uh, the deep slate tile stairs, and then I'm going to use the mangrove stairs to build it upwards. A little bit of gate action for some decoration here. Finishing up the roof of a little extension on the side here, and I'm glad that that lined up. Let's, uh, I think we can, actually, let's keep that there. We'll, I'll come down. I'm going to put the lanterns back up. This should complete that side. Yeah, and so now we have a little bit of a way to get in here. I'm probably going to end up putting a lanterns right here it does look a little dark this is a nice little enclosure and you can tell we did actually start um i was just running on my mind a little bit i didn't know exactly what to do for like five seconds so i just started making this path and uh, this is going to lead right back to the starter house um it's nice that the village when the village starts to come coming together like this it's it's amazing i love the feel and we're gonna have a mining entrance coming in pretty soon and oh man this is all gonna be great the side over here was pretty much just a bare glass pane, so I decided to kind of make a cross beam with trapdoors in the middle. I'm going to decorate it just like I would decorate the bottom, so I'm actually just going to use the same thing. The fences, the gates, or not the gates, the walls, and uh, the chains leading to the lanterns. Probably put some gates in the middle, actually, so correct myself again, because there's actually three in the middle, and it always looks good with the, uh, the gate in the middle there. But if you lose the chain, I'll probably do this on the exact same thing on the other side, too. It's a little bare over there even though the hill does lead into it. But yeah, I like this. It adds a little bit of light to the middle. All right, so we got five buckets of tadpoles here. We are basically about to set off. I need to go find a cold biome right here, so I'm basically just going to start crossing this ocean right now, seeing what I can find. Uh, anything cold. Hopefully it's like some ice spikes or like ice rivers. Anything cold, like snowy mountains. That'd be great. Just a tundra. All right, so we might be able to get a little bit of good loot here. Just stumbled upon something maybe okay. Let's see what we can get. There's a chest down in here. Let me just grab some free air from here for a second, and then I'll just go here. Uh, nothing but coal. Oh, okay. I'll take this. I'll take... You know what? I'll just take it all. All right. Land ho. We didn't have to travel, like, like that far. Maybe, like, 500, 600 blocks or so. We didn't really have to go that far in order to find this land. I'm just going to start hopping along. Hopefully, we can find something. Got a nice open plains biome here. Not too bad. Not too bad. But also not what we're looking for. And a village. Not... Oh, okay. Wait. So, there's a village and... We got some snow. This is perfect, dude. This is absolutely perfect. No time to ransack this village today, but we do have time to make some frogs. So let's go over here. I hope that it doesn't, like, freeze right away. That'd be kind of cool. Wait, hold on a second. Let's get this dirt. Let's put the dirt right there. Let's, I guess, just put the tadpole in here. Put a tadpole in here. Tadpole in here. All right, we have our green boys here. Look at these guys. All right, so we did have five tadpoles. Don't ask what happened to the other two tadpoles. We do have three green frogs, though, which is all we needed to hear. That's all we need. That's all we absolutely need. Let's go back and bring these guys home. Cool thing about dragging these frogs with leads through the waters, they actually look like they're swimming. It actually doesn't look like I'm dragging, torturing an animal. It looks like they're actually swimming, having a good time. Come on in here, guys. Come through the door. Let's have a good time. Single file now. Perfect. Let's go. You get off. You get off. You get... There we go. Jump around. Have a good time. Ooh, actually, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's get you guys to come over here to the water. Let's make more frogs in here. I know we got some tadpoles down here, maybe. You know what? Let's just make a bunch of frogs. Let's go. Let's just make as many frogs as possible. Everybody get to the water. Make some tadpoles. All right. So this place is looking lively. We got all three color frogs actually right next to us now. That's good timing. And they're just hopping around. Made the water a little bit bigger. We actually added some flowers. Added some two different azalea trees in here. Got some 
Tropic evils on the ground plate. This stuff is looking good. Stuff is uh, stuff is uh, looking up around these parts. I do need to get the continuity mod figured out because uh, I mean, at least for the thumbnail, I really would like to get that figured out. There's um, yeah, I mean, there's only a few different type of continuity mods that I've ever heard of, but I'll get that figured out. It was making my game crash, like I mentioned earlier, which is weird. I hope it doesn't like start crashing too much. Uh, when I start to add other mods, but yeah guys, that's actually gonna be it for today's episode That is the goal that we reached for episode 2. I wanted to get the frog pen done and we did We got the sanctuary for the frogs completed and it looks like we have some friends I'm not sure what these guys are doing here, but uh, they're gonna have to go soon uh, That guy guys that is gonna be it for this episode though. Thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it. Feel free to join some time on twitch for the live streams Feel free to join the patreon and the discord those links are all down below Thank you guys so much again. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate all of the dog names that you put in last time as well. All the dog names are in consideration. I need to find name tags. Once I find the name tags, those dogs will go on and they will have names. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye.